Hello, this is Mr. Evil Cheese. This is my review of the figure Obscura Frankenstein's Creature, 7 inch action figure, made by Four Horsemen. And there's a look at the box with some amazing artwork on the cover there. That is a really badass looking picture that I would like to put somewhere if I could find a place. But yeah, I just love that art there. Very cool looking. Wraps around onto the side. The villagers coming after him. And on the back, I guess it's supposed to be like Dr. Frankenstein's notes or something. Along the top. Also a really long story there. Try to take a picture if you want to pause it and read it. Then on top there's like a little window. You can sort of see down in there. There's the bottom. Then this has magnets. So it pops off on each side. And there it's figure. But on the inside, there's a nice background that you could stick them in front of. That looks really cool. There's lightning outside. A bunch of creepy stuff all over the tables and shelves here. But yeah, you can see that exposes some more of Frankenstein's notes. But yeah, he looks really cool in there. This guy, they previewed him and then he went up for pre-order pretty quick after that. And I just thought he looked really awesome. So, got one. Well, let's open him up. There's also this nice lightning insert that you can use for a backdrop also if you wanted to. There's two layers. There's the top layer we already seen. Then the bottom layer. There's a bunch of other stuff. And it comes with a lot of things. Okay, so there he is, open up. And he has a ton of stuff. So much more stuff than I'd ever think would come with a Frankenstein figure. But it is awesome. Well, in case you're wondering, the zombie cat is still working late. Six days a week. But that should end in a few weeks, so hopefully she'll be back. Maybe I'll get her in on this video somehow. Yeah, I already showed off the backdrop he comes with. He also has this alternate sort of bandage underwear thing. Did you put on him if you take his pants off for like the operating table? And he's got whatever this is bandages, I guess. I don't know. And he's got the operating table, some table to stick some of the scientific equipment. Here's some kind of device. Got three books. He's got these clear plastic display pieces that you can put heads or other parts in. He's got four extra heads. Originally, I thought this was just a skull to have a skull, but he actually has the hole in there that you can pop onto his head. So he's got five heads total. He's got alternate bare feet. He's got two alternate grabbing hands. And then there's also a skeleton hand, which it looks like you can also put that on him if you wanted to. But I think you could also put it in here or something. He's got shackles for his ankles and shackles for his wrists. There's these three cans. I don't know what they are. Canisters some kind. Straps to go onto the operating table. There's the base for the operating table. This is the base for the table to put the equipment on. And I guess that probably just goes in there. And he also comes with a book. And it is... I guess this is actually taken from Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Just an excerpt from it. So that's cool. Yeah, that's, that's really awesome they include that. Got that awesome picture on there again. Alright, so I put together a couple of his accessories. Here's the operating table. I'm gonna put the straps on, stuck the base on it. And this also tilts and also put the shackles on. I just have the chain just going through the hole. It's not actually attached to this hook. I suppose you could attach it if you wanted to. You'd probably have to bend the last link and then bend it back onto there. But I don't know if I'm going to do that because I might want it on his like wrist or something. And, but I also put the table together and stuck some of the stuff on the table. Also this machine here, this crank, it's got like a wire you can thread through holes. And it's kind of stuck the wires up. 
under there to make it look like they're attaching something. It's kind of what it shows in the preview pictures, but I'm not sure if they're actually supposed to attach to something. So they're just kind of going up in there, not really attaching to anything. Yeah, got the other stuff up on the table. Really like the weathering on the bases too. That's really cool. Silver showing through. But after we go over the figure, I'll probably stick them on there and see what it looks like. So stuck ahead in this jar. What do you call these things? Display. But it's like a creepy looking head. That's stuck ahead in the bigger one, the wider one, I guess. I stuck that skeleton hand into here. And there's Frankenstein next to my Mr. Evil Cheese figure. The Evil Cheese figure is about seven inches tall. And his Frankenstein is... I'm going to keep calling him Frankenstein. He's Frankenstein's creature, I know, but I'm going to call him Frankenstein a lot. He's about eight inches tall. Just a little bit shorter than eight inches. And I think he is supposed to be six inch scale. So he's just a really big... Frankenstein, like I guess he'd be like seven foot tall or something like that. And there he is next to NECA's Frankenstein's monster. So he's the Frankenstein's creature and he's Frankenstein's monster. Still supposed to be the same character, but whatever. Now you can see they're about the same height. But very different takes on the look of Frankenstein. Now looking over the figure, and I really love this sculpt. Sculpted head's really good. Real nice wrinkles. He's got some stitches. I really like the hair too, the hair sculpt. It's very nice. The paint on it's really good. A little dark around the eyes. A lot of the wrinkles got the wash in there. And then his body looks really cool too with all the stitches going all over his body. It's a real nice detail on the skin. Nice shading. You get down to his pants, and the pants are real cloth. Got a real little rope wrap around his pants for a belt. Got his big shoes. Nice texture on them. Paint in the cracks. And then this coat he's wearing is awesome. It's made of plastic, it's sculpted, but it just looks so good. I love this fur detail here, all these little buckles. But then my favorite part about it is this patchwork look to it. Wraps around. And that that just looks really awesome. All these different textures of the different patches. There's texture all over it. Every piece has texture on it. And all those stitches, and they all seem to be painted real nice too. So I just I love this jacket. There's even sculpted fraying going on down there. Holes, a little bit of stitching there. So I, this jacket is. I just love this jacket. Look at that big hole there. All these little holes. Just awesome. Love the way the stitches are pulling apart and then the holes there. So that's, that is really cool. I love that jacket. I'll switch this head to one of the alternate heads. With a very similar expression to the one that was just on. It's kind of just bald. Not the same expression. You can see the mouth's different. This mouth is the lips are open, you can see his teeth. This one you can't see any teeth at all. But that's cool. Got some veins, scars. It's a very cool option for a head. And here is the third head. Very similar to this head. Except this one's much more angry, much more menacing. Grit his teeth. Looks like he's really pissed off about something. See, I don't know if it's intentional, but it looks like his wound up there is bleeding a little more. Like maybe he got pissed off and blood starts coming out of his wound. And here's the fourth head. And this is a freaky looking head. It's all shriveled up. Smaller than the other heads. You can see it's much smaller. It looks like it's rotting or withering away eyeballs are bulging out but still creepy looking and it's kind of funny it just looks like it's a tiny head but still make for a weird monster if you want to use that one I kind of like it in the jar but I think it could be good 
depending what you want to do, be good for keeping it on the body. And there's the fifth head. Just a skull. Uh, this, this looks very odd on here. So I'm thinking this is just meant to be like a prop to come. he comes with. Set on a table or something. Uh, this may have been used. Probably was used on one of the other four horsemen skeleton warriors or something. But still cool. I just don't think it looks very good on this body. I don't think that's what it's meant for. I put this head back on. I think this is my favorite of the heads. I just love that hair. It would be cool if we could swap the hair, stick it on the other heads. Just like to see what that looks like. But I do really like that expression. One thing I want to point out is for some reason he looks very bright yellow on my camera. I try to adjust the settings, I don't know why he's coming up so bright. But in person he's much more of a pale yellow. So if he's looking very bright yellow, that's not how he actually is. I don't know why it's doing that. Yeah, it took his jacket off. You can see more of his skin underneath. Lots of detail. Got this big like wound coming down here. I think that's supposed to be there. <laughs> it almost looks like a real crack. I switched his hands. I like the positioning of the fingers, it looks cool. This one looks like he's gonna poke your eyes out or something. Uh, here you can see the pants. Got a couple holes in them. Big hole in the knee. Doesn't seem like the pants are really weathered. Uh, the rope's attached in the back. I guess I'll take them off so we can try the underwear look. There's what it looks like with the pants off. Well, there's just a hole in this, so I guess you gotta pop them apart. So there, got them apart. I had to use a hairdryer to heat up his stomach here. It's a little hard to pop off. And there he is in the bandaged underwear look. I guess when he's up on the operating table, maybe escapes. Breaking off of there and running off in this. But that looks cool too. There's also a lot of texture on this. On this cloth. Looks really nice. Little holes. And also you can see his legs are fully finished. Got a bunch of stitches here too. Some weathering. Some texture and some shading on the skin. Some veins. Very nice. Got his toenails painted gray. As for articulation, the head can go up or down. I think it actually goes a little further. There we go. Oh, there's actually a note in the box that said, if any of the joints seem tight, to heat them up with a hair dryer or hot water. Which, you know, if you buy a lot of figures, that's something you gotta do sometimes. But I, I really haven't had any issues yet. All the joints seem to move pretty good. We had to use the hair dryer to pop off the torso. But arm goes up like that. Like that. Spins here. And there's a hinge. Goes about 90. There are spins. And there's a hinge. Oh, that one might be tight. Yeah, the wrist I might have to heat up. What about this one? Oh, this one moves good. Yeah, this one, this wrist seems tight. So I better not force that one. Then at the torso, moves a lot there. Then at the hips. Move out like that. Spin. Go forward. I think he can probably kick. Yeah, he can kick forward a little further. It's just this bandage things kind of hindering it then the knee it's a single joint but it goes 90 and it's been a little bit then down the ankles there's a hinge and it can do the tilt I think that spins too it's just yeah it spins too it's a little tight so this articulation is pretty good no double joints but still pretty good Alright, got him strapped to the table. That looks cool. There's a, two holes on each side of the straps. 
for this one I had it on the farthest hole on both sides. For this one I had it one side of the strap in a little closer to make it tighter. And I put his shackles on, his ankles and wrists, threaded the chain down through that hole. But yeah, that's really cool. I really like that. And this is articulated. Looks like it's snaps into place at a few different angles so that's really cool you have him like he's almost ready to get up Come back go that way too if you want to put him upside down yeah I like there's a texture on the straps Shackles look real nice. There he is with the table and equipment on it sitting next to him. Put the backdrop there. So that makes a really cool display. I wonder if they're going to make a Dr. Frankenstein to go with this. I'm not sure that I would get it or not. I guess it depends on what he looks like. I kind of like this look too with the shackles on. With the jacket, the pants. Shackles on the ankles and no shoes. I do like the shoes on too, so I'm not going to have to decide what I like there. But I definitely like the hair and this jacket on. So there he is with the skeleton hand on. Once again, I don't think this is really meant for him. Just like with the skull, I think it was taken from a skeleton figure. And you're supposed to use it as a prop. But still, you can stick it on his hand if you want. One thing I was thinking when I seen the preview pictures for this Frankenstein go up was I thought he'd look pretty cool next to the Mezco 112 Theodore Sod Cutter figure. And they do look pretty cool together because Sod Cutter hangs out in a graveyard and this Frankenstein looks like he could have crawled out of a grave if you're not using him as Frankenstein. And here's Frankenstein next to one of my other four horsemen figures. It's the Mythic Legions. This demon. He's a real badass figure. Okay. So I am really happy with this figure. I like just about everything about it. The sculpt on the body and the heads is really good. The paint's really good, real nice shading. As I've said several times, I love the, that jacket. The sculpt and paint on it is awesome. The texture and everything. And I like all the different options you got. Four different heads. Five if you count the skull, but as you've seen, it doesn't really work. For his head, I think it was just, just a prop. But it's a cool prop. It's a real nice looking skull. Same with the skeleton hand, they're real nice little extra thing you can stick in one of the glass containers all the heads look really nice I really like the operating table and the way it can move around in different positions it has the removable straps and chains the little table is cool where you can stick all of the scientific equipment and books and things on there I also really like the backdrop you get with it real cool picture you can also use that lightning thing that I was showing and the art on the cover of the box is really awesome. It's like I don't know if I want to use the backdrop or if I want to use the art from the front to put somewhere hanging on the wall or something. And you also get the book with the excerpt from the Mary Shelley Frankenstein book. So that's cool. Well, we got the zombie cat to stop in. Just look at the figure real quick and give your opinions on it. I think this figure is pretty cool. I really like all the little accessories he comes with, like the heads and the jars, is really neat. And he looks awesome. I really like the head with the hair on it and all the detail on his jacket. It's really neat. So yeah, I think he's pretty cool.
So yeah, Four Horsemen did an awesome job in this figure. He is really cool. He's one of the ones where I'm wondering if they're going to make like alternate colors and things because I can see him looking pretty cool in some other colors also. But yeah, I, I really like this guy. And the last time I checked, he was still available on the Store Horseman site. Well, this is Mr. Cheese. Thanks for watching and goodbye. You, Frankenstein's monster. Creature. Oh, Frankenstein's creature. Ooh, aren't you fancy? Ah! Why are you in your underwear? If I had more blood in me, I'd be blushing. Why are you in your underwear? If that can even be called underwear, it looks like rags. Why? And what is this? Are you a hippie now? What is this long hair? And you got some black lips? What? What is going on? Is this? Is this some sort of goth phase? Because goth isn't a phase. Goth is a way of life, and that's my life. And don't you be trying to be a poser, goth, Mister Black Lips. Ooh, look at all these stitches. So many stitches. I don't remember them. Put that underwear. It makes me uncomfortable. Could you please maybe put some pants on? Frankenstein. Frankenstein's creature. Ooh! Ooh! Are you like the comic book guy, nerd? You gotta correct me with all these little insignificant effects. Hmm. I think you need to get a haircut. I like your flat top. Bring it back. It's in style. Always in style. And what are those over there? You got heads and jaws and a hand? I don't know what that is about, but I'll ignore that. Just make sure you show up to the monster party with a nice haircut and pants. Maybe a shirt of some kind. Wipe off that lipstick. You ain't no goth. I'm goth. I invented it. Also, you're looking very yellow. You might have some sort of infection from all them open, wounded stitches and things. Goodbye, Frankenstein. Screecher, or monster, or thing, or demon, or whatever. <laughs> Ignore him, cousin. He's a dumbass. Huh.